Hey folks, so we're doing the bell pepper. We're doing the chipotle peppers, and they're as you see, they're getting <laughs> they're getting roasted. <laughs> this is like a fun cooking with Mary shot. Okay, okay. you guys are so, ready for. Um, and then we're gonna put we're gonna we're gonna put all this nice mirepoix in there. Actually, let's see there. Where? In there. In in the pot of beans. There you go. Ah. Gut, nichts, nichts yeah, I, don't that, nichts I don't know what that means. It's German, so. Alles zusammen. Alles zusammen. Okay, she's going to put all that in there. And then <clears throat> she's going to sneak in the cabinet and get some bay leaves. Yeah, there's some bay leaves up in a jar up here. Up here, honey. Up up there. Up there. There's some bay leaves. You see the bay leaves? Uh -huh. right. Yeah. You want to grab a couple of those bay leaves? She wants to do chili relleno, so I'm going to do a real quick clip of doing these um, beans. And I, I know I've done them beans before. These are pinto beans. So, and see that? Rühren, rühren, um and no, we don't need to stir it. Oh, come. No, we don't need to stir it. And then we're going to lower the, we're gonna lower the heat. Okay? We're going to lower the heat. And then these chipotles, what's going to happen... Is we're gonna sweat these. We're gonna sweat these, and then we're going to add them to the. Um, really? Yeah, we're gonna add them, and we're gonna add them to that, and it's gonna give us such a wonderful flavor of our beans. And um, <laughs> yeah, she wants to make beans. She loves pinto beans. I love that I want to make. Relatos, they're my favorite. And I want her to learn how to make pinto beans, so when she goes back to Germany, she can make them. She can have some can parties, some. she can have some wonderful um, dinner parties and invite her friends and yeah, they don't do a lot of Mexican food over there in they Germany. They don't because Mexico is really far away. Yeah, but doesn't matter, she's going to take a little Mexican back with her. So, anyway, so after we do, okay, Those these are, are pretty much... Um, it, nice. It, it, yeah, be very careful. I don't want you to burn yourself. We're going to turn that out and we're going to sweat them. Go ahead and put them in this plastic. Okay. This, this small yeah. Uh -huh. And we're going to go ahead and put well, those in there. Mm -hmm. ah, so yeah, nice. I know. That's it's not, pretty uh, hot. Yeah. Ach, and then we're just going to stick that in there. Oh, and then we're just going yeah, yeah, to yeah. Machen, sweat them. Machen. And then we sweat them for about a couple minutes. In the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, we're gonna get a. Why is this not melting? Get a. Wait, wait, wait. Why is this a, the plastic bag not melting? Oh, because it's a good plastic bag. I don't know. Well, and so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up just a little bit so I can bring it to a boil and then I'm bring it back down. Ooh, this is too hot to sweat. <sighs> yeah. And then it's only going to take okay. a couple minutes to sweat. And then after we sweat them, honey, we have to... Um, no, we're not going to do that right now. That's fine. Oh, she wants to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I do. I love... Okay. So once you... Oh, they're nice. got to get them all sweat there. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Bell pepper. And these are beautiful organic bell peppers, which is a difference because the flavor is more, it's a lot more intense than your regular bell peppers. So I swear, I think they ought to just, just boycott genetically modified, genetically modified anything because, oh, that's good. Mm. How do you say it's good in, in, um, lecker? What lekka, is it? Lekka, 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 lekka. Mm -hmm. right, how do you say? Um, it's good in Germany. Es in German, es ist so gut. It's so good. It's so good. Did I, did I say that yeah. right? It's so good. Okay. Okay. And so, what she's gonna do is she's gonna open this up. Go ahead and open it, honey, and we're gonna rinse them. I'm gonna sweat enough. Okay. Yeah, take them out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kalt is mm -hmm. wasser oder heiß? Kalt? Yeah, cold. Heiß. Okay, cold water. Kalt. Cold water. Mm -hmm. And she's going to take them and she's going to put them in that one a strainer. Go ahead. And she's going to go ahead and um, rinse those off. Okay. 
clean up your surface board here. And we do we're gonna do the same thing with the Anaheim pepper, so I'm not gonna really um, post the Anaheim peppers because you already have the videotape of me um, roasting and sweating the Anaheim peppers, but if you don't have Anaheim peppers, what can you use? Um, you can use chipotle, you can use bell peppers even, but if your bell peppers are small, then you can use them. Use any kind of peppers with a nice thick skin. You see how thick that can, skin is? Can you use jalapeno pepper? Um, you can, but it's going to give you a different flavor. Are they hotter or just not this flavorful? It depends on your topography. It, it's, it depends on, on where the peppers are grown and where you're getting them from. But you always want to take the seeds out. Always want to take the seeds out. So, because it gives it a whole different flavor when you do the seeds. You can't put the seeds in, but sometimes the seeds are really, really um, spicy. Okay. So, you got that pretty much? Yeah. But we have take a lot of seeds out. Take the seeds out. Seeds out. Okay. Seeds out. I can tell those are a little spicy. Yeah. But they're going to make the beans taste really yummy, 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 delicious. These are not the ones I'm going to eat. Okay. And, and you can take the stems out. Mm -hmm. Stems out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take okay. the stem out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Nice. 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 Good. 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 Yeah. Good. Make sure um, all your. Yeah. All, just yeah. Take yeah. all the. Take all the nasty, the, the hard stuff off. Like, um. That black must be all gone or what? Well, that's the peeling that's been charred. Oh, so. this is good. This is good, though, no? Yeah. Okay. So, so nochmal mit dem. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's good. See, and it's nice, and um, the flesh is beautiful on this. Look at how beautiful the flesh yeah, is. Yeah, Coco Mush. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna bring it over here on the board. Let me let me wipe the board off. So, but if you <coughs> like it really spicy, you leave the seeds on. Um, the seeds kind of gives it a different flavor. I would um, I don't know. I kind of like the the flesh flavor instead of the seed flavor. So okay. go ahead and chop that up. Let me rinse that off real quick. Okay. Okay. And then go ahead and then just chop it, mince, watch your fingers. There you go. Woo. Be careful. You got your finger? No. Okay. There you go. Very good. Chop it up some more. Yes. Very good. Just get a great job here. Okay. Okay, more? A little, a little bit, bit more. Tiny. Go ahead. You want it really tiny for the beans, no? Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's I fine. think that's good. Okay, so good. Oh, so those are going to be delicious beans. So you want to take all that and put it in there. Okay, Ryan, you didn't think. So you have your bay leaf, you have your onions, you have your bell peppers, you have your celery, and now you have your chipotle. These beans are going to be fantastic. And so you let them cook because they've been soaking all day. So you let them cook for about a good, I would say, about an hour or so. But we'll be back to show you the beans and the results. And then we'll get into the chili rellenos and stuff. Okay. We're going to do some chicken and cheddar cheese and uh, Monterey Jack cheese chili rellenos. All right. We'll see you soon.